Hello friends, today we are going to see the reversal algorithm for rotation of an array. So let's see, we will see an example first. So see this is the array and we want to rotate this array by two places. Suppose we want to rotate to the right. That means we have to push every element of the array two places to the right. So here you can see one is pushed two places to the right then one will come at this place. Then two is pushed two places to the right. So here is two. In this way every element is pushed two places to the right. You can say it as they are displaced by two places to the right. Now what about the elements at the end? Because if we want to displace 6 by two places then the array ends. So you have to take that element to the left that means at the beginning of the array. So here it is one is pushed two places to the right. So the array goes like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7. Okay. So this is the rotated array. That's why it is called as rotation of the array. Rotated array by two places. Which is why R is equal to 2. Now let's take an another example. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And here you have to rotate by three places. So C. A will come. 1, 2, 3. So it will come at this place. At this index. Which is three places displaced to the right. So in the same way all other elements will be pushed three places to the right. And the end elements will be taken to the beginning. Which is why this is called as the rotation of the array. So E F G will come to the beginning of the array. So in this way we have seen the rotation of the array. Now we will see how to do this in a program. This is because this is a small input. We are able to do it just manually. But we need an algorithm for doing for big inputs. So let's see. See these are the steps. So what is the first step? First step is make two parts of the array as n minus r and r. These are the sizes of the two parts. The first part will be called as a and the second part will be called as b. So let's see. See here this is the input array. The size of the array is 7 and you have to rotate this array by two places. So the first part is n minus r. So if the size of the array is 7 then 7 minus 2. So that is 5. So the first part will be of 5 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is the first part and it will be called as a. And the remaining two elements are the second part. That will be called as B. Now let's go to the second step. Reverse A and B which will form AR, VR. That is A reversed and B reversed. So see you have to reverse the first part that is A. On my channel I have a video on how to reverse an array without any extra space and in time complexity of n. I have mentioned the link in the description below. So you have to reverse this part. So I will reverse it. E, D, C, B and A. Okay. Yes, the first part is reversed. Let's reverse the second part that is G and F. Okay, this is the second part. Now this is called as AR and BR means A reversed and B reversed. 
okay so we formed ar br now reverse wall ar and br which will form ar br reverse of wall so this wall array will be reversed in this step okay see this is the first step these two parts then second step and this is the third step let's reverse the wall array so f g a b c d and e so let's see is the answer correct so see here a is pushed forward to the right by two places yes and all other elements are displaced forward to the right and the end elements f and g are rotated and they came at the beginning that is f and g here f and g yes so this array is rotated by two places so this is how we rotate an array by given number of places now what is the complexity of this algorithm see here the space complexity of this algorithm is constant because we don't use any extra space we don't use any extra space so this is a space efficient algorithm and the time complexity is c for reversing an array it is o of n minus r plus o of r so n o of n minus r for the first part and o of r for the second part and o of n for the third step so all these time complexities can be said as the o of n time complexity if we add them then we will get it as the o of n time complexity so this is an efficient algorithm for rotating the array this algorithm is called as reversal algorithm so in our next video we will see an another algorithm for rotation of the array see here you can use these algorithms not only for rotation of the array but in competitive exams you can use this algorithm for many other purposes which is why these algorithms are important hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you